Welcome to another edition of Brugler's Draft Board here in the BetMGM Casino Studio. Dane, we're going to the top of the mountain this week for the top prospect matchup. Number one, LSU. Number two, Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Yes, this is a big game for the quarterbacks in Joe Burrow and Tua Tagovailoa. But let's talk about the guys that protect Tua, particularly right tackle Jedrick Will. Yeah, all the attention this week and during the game is going to be on these two quarterbacks. And look, deservedly so. This matchup could help decide who will be the first quarterback drafted. But what's usually the case when Alabama and LSU play, there's dozens of NFL players on the field at once. And the offensive tackles for Alabama, I think we need to be talking more and more about them. Specifically, Wills, like you said, he's been one of the biggest risers this year. Uh, he's in his second year as a starter. He's a true junior, 6'5", 322 pounds. We knew he was a mauler in the run game, but this season he's really developed in pass protection. You're seeing some of that athletic ability that he has for such a big man. Uh, and that's why he's being talked about as a possible top 10 pick. Very smooth in his movements. He can redirect and shut down different types of rushers. Now on the other side, on left tackle, Alex Leatherwood, he's also in that first round mix, at least trying to cement his name that high. He's done a really nice job making that transition from right guard to left tackle, replacing Jonah Williams. He's a little stiff in his lower body, but he plays with a wide base, long arms, he can corral rushers, has not allowed a sack yet this year. And especially with Tua, not 100%, uh, with that ankle injury, it's gonna be more and more important for Wills and Leatherwood to keep a clean pocket. And they're gonna be tested by LSU. We've talked about Calavion Chase on uh, as being one of the better speed rushers in college football. So uh, this is gonna be an offensive tackle rich NFL draft near the top. And these two Alabama tackles are part of the reason why. You mentioned Jonah Williams, whether it's Leatherwood, whether it's Wills, obviously Alabama has a good chance to have another first round, potentially top 10, top 15 pick come April. But let's keep the train rolling here with offensive tackles. Let's go to an underrated prospect to watch. Let's go to Louisville, Makai Becton. And Dane, this guy listed on the Louisville official website, 6'7", 369 pounds. Like, how's his mobility for a guy of that size? Get ready for the Trent Brown comparisons, because we're going to hear those a lot, uh, whether Becton comes out this year as a junior or comes uh, uh, next year as a senior after his senior year. Uh, he is a mountain of a man. He's a big guy. He has he can block out the sun uh, with just a sheer size, but he can move a little bit too. Uh, you know, he is not a statue uh, when he's left alone in space. And so pass protection, you see the broad shoulders, the, the wingspan, the wide base. Uh, he that also shows up in the run game, but he moves surprisingly well for a left tackle uh, in pass protection. You don't see him get beat very often. Uh, not a lot of reasons to watch Louisville right now in terms of prospects. Uh, they don't have a ton of top level guys. But Becton is a guy who's putting his name in that top 50 discussion, might be in that second tier. If you don't get your tackle in the first round, Becton might be in that second tier as one of the rising tackles uh, worth looking into in the second. All right, let's wrap things up with a potential upset. Let's go to Arizona State. USC's coming to town. Arizona State's the home underdog here. But what about wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, who's a JUCO transfer? What does he need to do in order to help pull off the upset for the Sun Devils? Yeah, USC, they still have plenty to play for this season, but it feels like there might be another upset in the final month of the season for them. And Arizona State, uh, they have the talent to do it. Ayuk, if they're going to upset them, Ayuk's going to have a big game. Uh, before the season, much of the talk with Arizona State was how are they going to replace Nikhil Harry, uh, who's a first-round pick of the Patriots. But Ayuk has stepped up and been more of a playmaker in 2019, more so than I think anybody would have predicted. 740 receiving yards, 19.5 yards per catch, five touchdowns. But the most impressive part of his game is once he gets the ball in his hands. He leads all of college football in yards after the catch. He's a big play waiting to happen with his speed, his vision. I've talked to him about what makes him so elusive and dangerous uh, after the catch. And he talks about him being a running back most of his life. And so that allows him to understand pursuit angles and make guys miss. And this his natural explosive traits. That's what has gotten him noticed by NFL teams. Before the season, we were talking about Ayuk as a possible late round pick. Now, he can go as early as a top 40, and it wouldn't be a surprise if he is the first senior drafted at his position. Shout out to two Sun Devils, of course, Herm Edwards, former coach of the Jets, now current coach at Arizona State, and Kevin Mawai, former center now enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That was Brugler's draft board here in the BetMGM Casino Studios. Dane, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next week.
Thanks, Ethan.